Somebody sent me a picture the other day. This guy had a, uh, a, a pickup truck. And on the back, he had all this shit. Um, Anti-Obama. Obama, is that how you say his name? Obama. And uh, at one point, he had this. Uh, and this is what fascinates me about people who are straight up Democrat or straight up Republican. It reminds me of people who are into like fucking organized religion, just like the blinders that they have on. This is the bumper sticker this guy had. had. It said, recession, your neighbor loses his job. Depression, you lose your job. Recovery, Obama loses his job. You know, and it's just like those fucking people. It's like, how do you not see that they all kind of do the same thing? And they're all on their knees blowing the same fucking. I mean, don't you see? Okay, Clinton. Democrat, liberal, right? Bleeding heart liberal. What does he do? The bleeding heart liberal. He's for the fucking everyday Joe. He's just going to give it away to the broke people. What does he do? He helps deregulate the banks. All right? George Bush comes in, right? He wants to help out fucking major corporations and all that type of shit. Doesn't give him one war. He gives him two wars. Billion dollars a fucking month or whatever the hell it is going into those fucking cunts' pockets. God, in the combination of those two fucking moves, the deregulation of banks trying to fight two fucking wars, two away games, by the way, on the other side of the fucking planet, bankrupts this goddamn country. Obama comes in, right? Bleeding heart fucking liberal. What the fuck does he do? Gets us out of Iraq and then escalates the shit in Afghanistan. Has he taken any of these bankers to task? They stole a trillion dollars. They can't even say where the fuck it is or who got it. Is he going after those people? No. They're not. It's the same fucking people. Which is why I resent people when they tell me when I vote for a Ron Paul or any or anybody else, you know, like of that ilk who's saying that these bankers and these corporations are completely out of fucking control and we need to do audit the Federal Reserve or maybe even close, the, you know, shut the fucking thing down and they, they're not allowed to debate and they're just considered a crazy person. And then you go out there and you basically make a decision between the two fucking guys that they're giving you to vote for. That you feel like, oh, we made these choices. You didn't. You didn't. It's all the same fucking guy. How you didn't figure that out in 2004 when your choice was two white guys who both went to Yale, who were both a member of that, that fucking group, the, the, the Skulls or whatever. It was the same fucking guy. And I love how these, the, the fucking Democrats somehow get, get off, uh, get away with being like, uh, you know, they're all like millionaires. Like John Kerry was a fucking goddamn millionaire. But somehow he's going to be the man of the people. I don't fucking know. I think it I think uh, I think at a lower level I think you can actually affect change um in political office. But I think once you go past a certain level, I think when even when you get to like if you, if you were like a senator of your state, I don't I just don't feel that, you know, I don't know. I think Obama said a bunch of shit that he was going to do got into office, saw how shit worked, and right now he's trying to prevent getting shot in the fucking head at, like everybody else who gets that job, and you just you just do what they want you to do. That's my, that's my fucking two cents. But these fucking morons who will, will come along and just sit there and blame the current president, if they're, of course, if they're not a member of their party, it's, it's just beyond me. It's just fucking beyond me. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm. I, but like I said, I, I feel like I've, I've talked about that enough on this fucking podcast. People are still coming at me, not understanding understanding what I'm saying about these these automated checkout machines at the grocery stores. Once again, this guy writes me like a five page fucking email talking about pulleys and levers and inventions from back in time. Like I'm against fucking uh, um, progress. And he's comparing all of this, sh- like I'm sitting there going, fuck airplanes, we should be back riding horses. 
What about all the blacksmiths who got put out of business? I'm not talking about that. I don't want to ride a horse to a gig in fucking Philly. I don't want to do that. I love airplanes. I don't have a problem with that shit. I'm not talking about progress. I'm talking about something that that makes me have to work for somebody for free. That's what I'm saying. All right? If they came out with those automated checkout machines and it got rid of people's fucking jobs, and but but I walked up there and it was like this thing that just just magically could tell me what I fucking owed without me having to do the actual fucking job that the other person was just doing, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But those fucking check, they're just all they did was turn the cash register around, and now I have to do it and bag my own shit. How the fuck is that progress? Somebody else was trying to tell me that it's all part of this movement of, of it was really, really a spiritual thing, so that we'll have all these robots, man, and they'll be doing all these jobs, and then life will just be all about, you know, just exploring life because you won't have to do a fucking job. It's just like, it's like, dude, you're completely ignoring sociopaths. All right, which is why, like, when, when uh, as much as I lean left, I don't go all the way to the left, because that's the big flaw in 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 uh, psycho level of of liberal thought. Is you completely ignore sociopaths. If everybody was just nice to everybody, everything would be nice. No, it wouldn't. They'd still be Charlie Manson. They'd still be those guys. They'd still be that guy who couldn't handle not fucking having more than somebody else. They couldn't, they, they, or, or the person who can't feel anything unless he's fucking poking the eyes of a squirrel out. So I don't know. My, my, my theory has always been that fucking, it hasn't always been that way, just, just through the, the fucked up shit that I've read, and God knows if it's even right, is that sociopaths basically run the fucking world. You know? They have the balls to just go out and take, and they have the, the I don't know if it's a chemical makeup, psychological makeup, whatever it is, to feel absolutely no fucking guilt. They could give a fuck about other human beings. They could give a fuck about nature. They could give a, they could give a fuck. They could give a fuck. So, Jesus Christ, I was so, I'm so on my goddamn soapbox. I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about. Oh, getting back to that shit. So that is my, my – I don't have a problem with ATMs, okay? ATMs, I basically became my own fucking teller, but here's the big difference is I then had access to my money 24 fucking 7. You gave me a little something. I don't have a fucking problem with that. But I walk into a grocery store, and now I'm standing behind a fucking plumber trying to scan a week's worth of goddamn groceries. It's not quicker. It's not – It's it sucks. Fuck you. I, I, I can't stop sending me fucking emails about pulleys and levers. Jesus fucking Christ. The advent of the wheel. He's fucking 30, fucking 40 B.C. Ugh. I'm not working for fucking free. I'm not doing that. Those goddamn automated uh, uh, um, things there when you, when you go into a parking garage. Now I got to stand in two fucking lines. I got to stand behind somebody as they try to stuff their crinkled up dollar bill in trying to pay for their parking. And then I got to drive, you know, then I drive down waiting to leave. And they don't get to just fucking leave because they got to make sure they paid. They, all you did was create an extra line and you eliminated the fucking parking garage guy. And now I got to sit there and wait for the person to, oh, where the fuck did I put the ticket that said I paid? Twice as goddamn long. That's what I'm talking about, pulley and lever guy. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about inventions that do not make my life easier. They just make me work for fucking free. And the time that I spend in the store is not any shorter, and a lot of times it's a little bit fucking longer. That's what I'm talking about, sir. Sir.